Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to overlap patterns inside of Photoshop. Later in the video, I'll show you how to get this free download, so make sure you stick around for that. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Now let's get started. So we're gonna start off by unlocking this first layer and we're gonna add a pattern to it. Now I've also created this pattern. So these are the three patterns that we're gonna be working with today. I also have a darker silver color um, here. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with, let's start with that silver color. And let's bring that up to 100%. Move it into place so that we don't see the seam there. And click OK. So this is what we're starting with. I also have a video on how to create this type of foil. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a uh, link here as well so you can take a look at that video. So this is going to be our base. This is what we're going to be starting with. And then we're going to come over here to the uh, layer adjustments and we're going to choose pattern. This is the first pattern that we're going to be using. So we're going to click OK and I think we'll take that to 125. Click OK just so that you can see what we're going to be doing. So now that we have the pattern layer on the bottom, we're going to add another layer inside of this layer. So inside of this um, snowflake layer. So we're going to go ahead and right click and rasterize that layer. Now remember it's very important that you're using a pattern that is transparent, that has a transparent background. So this one does have a transparent background. I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer mask and now I'm going to double click here and I'm going to add a pattern overlay and I'm going to change the colors so I think I'm going to just stick to this silver and then also add a color overlay to that but I want to change it to color because I want to be able to see this pattern through there but let's see I think that's a good color for it maybe we'll go a little more blue and I want to stick to these areas right here a little bit darker just so that it goes well with the bottom I want it to look like that it's all one pattern so I'm going to click OK and I'm actually going to go back to the pattern and bring that down to maybe 25 percent click OK and now we have uh, this snowflake pattern we can also do a color overlay on this one so I'm gonna this is our background our base pattern so I'm gonna come over to the adjustments and I'm gonna go to hue and saturation just to change the color on that as well so make sure you click on colorize otherwise you're not going to see any of the changes and you can kind of move it around I know this is more of a Christmas style and we're in the middle of summer so I well, let's try something different we're gonna go with the um, we're gonna turn this off so let's uh, add another adjustment a pattern adjustment layer and we're gonna go with the dots that we created in the last video okay click OK and then we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna rasterize this layer and then double click to add another pattern inside of there. So we're going to add another pattern and maybe we'll go with this pink here. I'm going to bring this back up because we're seeing that that seam line in there. Okay so we've got that pink in there and we've got a silver background. Maybe we'll use the gold for this one. So add the gold in there or we can just as easily add that hue and saturation layer and come in here and find a color that we like if you want to learn how to make the two repeating patterns that we used here or if you want to learn how to make the foil textures i'll leave a link for you down in the description if you'd like to download the digital papers that i mentioned earlier that's up on the screen as well To learn more about working with Photoshop, watch one or both of the videos up on the screen right now and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.